wow, what an amazing video from Jenny Allen. I'm so thankful that she did this study. Guys, this is amazing. It's going to be a great journey. And I just want you to invest in doing the work. Um, I like the part that she said, um, she started talking about the woman with the issue of blood and how she made her way to Jesus, but she got something from him. And seemingly, I think Jenny kind of put herself in her shoes, like what I'm dealing with is so small because God, the small thing that I'm asking you for, you really are bigger than that. So I think we have to kind of sometimes put ourselves in a situation where we are like the one with the issue of blood. We're not just pressing towards Jesus, but we want to get something from him. And the greatest gift that we can receive for him is for him to be big within us. Um, I feel like sometimes if we could just touch him um, through, um, through, through the story of the one with the issue of blood, even though it's a, it's a story in the Bible, um, looking at it in modern day text, like what does that mean getting to Jesus and being in his presence and touching him? Well, we can touch him through the word. We might not be written in the Bible, but our story today could be that we actually are getting closer to God by reading our word, by praying, by doing this book study. And as a result, we become free. We become whole because now we are closer with him. We have touched him. And now we start to see the things that we deal with or the things that sometimes allow us to become stuck now seem so small because God becomes so big. So I'm really excited. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I pray that you're willing to do the work because it's not just about me talking to you and you watching a video, but now it's time for you to do the work. Um, Proverbs 28 and 13 says this, he who conceals sin does not prosper, but whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy. So it's one thing to hide what you're dealing with. But through this study, I pray that God really does become bigger, that Jesus becomes bigger within us so that we're not hiding from him because he knows already. He already knows what we're dealing with, but just kind of being open and being free in Christ to say, okay, God, I'm stuck in this area, but I really want to be better. I don't want to, I don't want to stay stuck. I want to become better in this area. So I want Jesus that already lives within me to become bigger in that area with me. So as you're doing your work, go to page 18. And in the most honest way, I want you to fill out those three places that you feel stuck. Now you have to be honest with this. And we read Proverbs 28 and 13. He who conceals sin, you don't prosper. You don't prosper from covering it up and trying to just put it in a nice little tucked away corner, but being expo exposing it and allowing God to be bigger in the area. So on page 18, I want you to do the work. Really take your time and don't just rush through it to write down, okay, I feel stuck in my job, my finances, and my children. No, really think about it and say, okay, every time this comes around, I, I feel like I get stuck, like I don't know what to do, or I keep repeating the same behaviors that I said I would never do again. So really taking your time to say, okay, this is a problem. This is a problem because when these issues or these things or these people come around, I get stuck again. God, I want you to be bigger in that area so that I can be all that you've called me to be and do everything that you've called me to do here on the earth. So I can't wait to see you guys next week. Make sure that you're reading your book. Go ahead and read ahead so that you can be ahead. And then you're kind of just following in and you're kind of working through the workbook with us. I love you guys so very much. I'll see you next week.